day. Welcome to Durango. This is where we're staying. This is at the fairgrounds. Not much going on here, just a gravel lot. We're gonna head downtown and uh, see if we can rustle up some grub. We're gonna rustle up some grub. <laughs> Drank a whole lot of water and she ate a lot of coal. They called the Silverton. Silverton train. fun time downtown um, I wanted to show you the spot again that we're at again this is at the fairground and I think is it $27 a night here I think about that yeah. just water and electric there's no dump station here either so there are a couple free gas stations in town that have a free dump station um, so we're gonna go do that but I want to show you in case you're considering this again it is just a gravel lot so no picnic tables no Nothing like that, but it is in a pretty good location. Like we just we just pulled in and walked. So we walked both directions, but it was about a mile and a half to get downtown. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Dave actually ran a really cool trail along the river um, that you can access from here. I so, felt the altitude. Yeah. <laughs> For about 6,700, 6,600 feet, something like that. Yeah, so today, um, we're actually heading up to Silverton. Now we might go past Silverton. Just kind of depends on the weather and what we see and what's going on. It's supposed to be. I saw there could be some snow in Silverton next couple nights. Yeah, so we're, we're kind of trying to get over that hump. We but can we'll handle see. snow. Now, something I really, we both talked about, we really would like to do here, we just couldn't because we had Pistol Girl, was the, <laughs> the train ride from, from Durango up to Silverton and back. But it was about a nine hour excursion I will come back someday and yeah we will there was even an open air I don't know if you saw um, an open air train car so you could ride the way in the yeah, open it's air like, it's a few hours on the narrow gauge yeah up to Silverton and then you have a couple three hours to hang out in Silverton explore that and then a couple ride hours back through the mountains it just be a yeah. stunning day but nine hours in the camper alone is not for the girl no 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 we can't do they that. have a they have a shorter um trip like a three or four like four hours i think i can't remember but, but it's yeah. it doesn't start until later this month yeah so, so we, could, we couldn't do that either but yeah definitely something to put on the list to come back when we got more time super good places to eat i had the best smash burger and IPA I probably ever had yesterday. Yeah. What was the name of that place? I can't remember. Carver's it was Brewery? A brewery? Carver's Brewery, something like that. Oh. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, yeah, so part of the road I think we're on today is going to be so scenic, but it's um, called the Million Dollar Highway. Is that what it is? I believe so. Yeah, so <clears throat> we're just going to show you the route we take today and the scenery and it's just gonna be epic, epic driving day, so. Not sure where we're staying. There's some uh, primitive camping just outside of Silverton, but if we continue on today, um, we'll go, there's a town, I think it's pronounced Ori, did a wine tasting yesterday, and the guy was telling me when, when you get to Silverton, the road from Silverton to Ori is, Phenomenal. He, th he, th he thinks it's the most scenic highway in America. Yeah. So, I mean, we've seen a lot of highways, so I'd like to, if that's the case, that'll be pretty epic. Yeah. So. All right, let's get scenic. Move on down the, yeah, let's get scenic. Let's get scenic.
Okay, we're at Cold Bank Pass. This is 10,640 feet. Uh, we still have some climbing to go because I think it said uh, 12,009. No, that was just one of the peaks. I don't know if that's where we go over it. Oh, Engineer Pass, I think it said. So uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, we definitely start going down here, but I just didn't know. I thought we still. So this big hemi handles these climbs like nothing. Okay. Yeah. The van, we'd have been high RPM. <laughs> yeah, oh, for sure. That Whee! thing, that thing. <laughs> Wine's high, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was very nice. We'll see how we go down down the hill with all our weight. Um, Love being in the mountains again. Oh, so nice. We kept passing all these cyclists. I didn't even get them all on film, but um, what? how inspiring. My gosh, they're just climbing these mountains like billy goats. It's amazing. I'm very jealous. I was very jealous. Oh. I'd love to come ride these. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, awesome. All right, I guess we uh, start the descent. Okay, we stopped in Silverton for a quick break. Made some scrambled eggs, had lunch. Girl had her for lunch. A walk. Yeah, I went for a little walk. Um, so there is a state park maybe about an hour and a half ahead. And we're gonna head there, scope it out, and see if we can figure out uh, if they're open. There was a campground along the way, but they don't open yet, so. Um, Couldn't even get to it, it's too much snowpack. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so more stunning views ahead. So I think as stunning as it was behind us, it might be even more stunning ahead. I was told mm -hmm. that from Silverton to Ori, yeah. that's the place. Let's do it. How you doing, babe? <laughs> Talk to me. Oh, it's a big truck too. I don't like it when the cliff's on that side and I gotta get close to it because there's a big rig coming. Yeah, it's not ideal. I got a thing with heights. My hands are all sweaty. Mm. <laughs> Look at this. <clears throat> okay, I'll get up here real quick. Wait, he's cutting that corner. Don't be so quick. Okay, there you go. Oh. I would hate to meet him on this corner, so. Oh my god. <laughs> it's beautiful, but it's stressful.
intense. Intense. I can't wait to watch the footage so I can enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm like, white line, no line. I'm, I'm getting car sick. <laughs> Crystal's just having a nice snooze. And she is unaffected. We made it to Ridgeway State Park. Uh, really fantastic drive. I want to ask you. Was it? Yeah. I would say it was fantastic scenery. I mean, I started getting car sick. He was white knuckling it, sweating <laughs> over there. Um, how did the truck perform, both going up and down? Really well. Yeah. Really well. No complaints. No complaints. Fantastic. No, I just felt like I was 30 feet wide. Yeah. On a 20 foot wide road. Yeah. It's the the truck's different. Um I mean we've been in it for four months now, but really haven't spent that much time in it. And the visibility is not as good as the van because you're so it's so big and bulky and so yeah. it's I, I'm still not you know, the vans I knew exactly where my tires were. Yeah. This I'm pretty sure I know where the tires are. Yeah, we pretty don't sure want to guess on that cliff. I'm pretty sure it's not good on the roads like that, but it, <laughs> it was I can't wait to see the footage to see how I can't wait was, to see the footage, I, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't look out this way when... Luckily, there was very little traffic. Yeah. But sometimes it was meeting the wrong rig at the wrong time mm -hmm. in the wrong place. And That was a phenomenal drive. Um, I would say one of the most unique drives we've had. Terrifying and beautiful at the <laughs> same time. Um, what do you guys think? Is that a road you've been on? Did you love it or was it equally terrifying that we thought? <laughs> Have you been on more scenic than that? Yeah, where? I want to know. Yeah, because there's a bike path. Someone's on a bike down there. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's scarier roads, but yeah. um, we've been on some. But the difference is some of the roads I've been on that are kind of sketchy like that haven't been like two hours. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like, this is never going to end. Right. But it was it was awesome. There's plenty, plenty of places to pull over. Yeah, that was that was nice. Yeah. See, it's a mountain bike trail right there, right by their camp spot. Oh, we might have to get those Check out. Check out this camp spot view. Yeah, this is our view. Mm-hmm. Not too shabby. All right, I think we're actually gonna both get our workouts in. We got enough time in the day. We didn't do that this morning at the fairground, so gonna get that done. Just gonna get a workout in. Get some dinner, and then we're we'll move on down the road tomorrow. See you when we see you. Carry on. Carry on. Thanks for watching. And a very special thank you to our patrons for supporting our channel. Join us over on Patreon for extra videos and more content. Check out our website or Amazon for our pistol book. Carry on. Carry on. <laughs>